Hey baddies, welcome to another Auntie Amy's Trashy Tarot. Today I'm doing another pop-up pick a card reading. This one is going to be all about a year from now. We're going to get the general vibe, what's going on, what's the tea, what's up, what does spirit want you to know about a year from now. Now, this was requested by, I had to write it down, by Moonlight-GS7PM. Uh, and I was delighted to do this, and Lilith was like, yes, 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 so we're doing it today, and I do take requests. Sometimes I do them immediately. Sometimes I do them in a few weeks. Sometimes they go on a list, all right? So anyway, thank you so much, Moon Moonlight. Is it Moonlight? Uh, yes, Moonlight. Uh, thank you so much for your request. I was happy to do it. All right. So, and today we're using the Talisman Oracle deck as our deck for this pop-up pick a card. So how this works is I'm going to shuffle up this deck and whatever cards come out are the cards we're going to use for the pick. All right. Sorry, I will be pulling cards as I go throughout the reading. So, as always, your auntie, me, <laughs> is highly medicated, all right, due to my autoimmune disease. So uh, I take the green stuff, so sometimes I will slur my words or be awkward like it just was, <laughs> okay? And we're awkward and weird over here. That's okay. Uh, we love that. I love that about you guys, and I hope you can accept that about me, your aunt. You're awkward. <laughs> You're awkward, Auntie Amy. All right, so let's get into it. Let's shuffle up these cards a little more, a little more before we get on the dance floor. <laughs> all right, all right. Group one, group one, tell me which card is for my group one a year from now. Tell me this one wants to come out. Shall we look at it? Or should it be a surprise? Let's look at it. Okay. <laughs> Overcome fear. Ooh, that's a great card for a year from now. All right. It looks like there's some fear that group one's going to be overcoming. All right. Group two. Group two. What is the vibe for my group two? What is my vibe? What is my vibe? What is their vibe? My group two. What is their vibe? Okay. We had this card flip over. Blessed day. You guys, that's some good, good energy for a year from now. This card, see how it's kind of sling, sliding, slickery out of my deck? I'm going to take that for group three. We have rebirth group three. Do -do, do -do, do -do. Okay, so group three, that's amazing energy. So each group, you guys like Overcoming fear, there's some kind of, I feel like, obstacle overcoming, all right, uh, a year from now. There's some kind of, woo, big energy. We have a blessed day, beautiful energy here, some, some kind of something unfolding here, rebirth, woo, big, big energy there. Okay, I can feel it, all right, so those are going to be your selections. I will include a little picture for those of you guys who need more time to see which group you're drawn to. Now, if you are drawn to more than one group, there probably is going to be more than one message here for you, okay? And with that said, I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys! Hey group one, all of you that selected Overcome Fear, this is going to be your reading all about a year from now. We're going to find out what the vibe is, what's up, what do you need to know, what the spirits want you to know. Um, so yeah, this is big energy here. There, there's some major accomplishments in your life going on in the next year. Um, it feels like if I, I I feel like a release of energy like off my back when I connect with this energy. Like something is being let go of. Something is being released. Tell me more about the releasing of this energy, this overcoming fear. 
We have elixir of life. Ooh, that's beautiful. That's a great energy. Tell me more about this. Give me another card here to tell me about this energy. Elixir of life. This one wants to come out. We have cut ties. Okay. So, you know, it is what it is, right? I, I feel like some of you guys have a person, a situation in your life right now. Um, it could be a job. It could be, I'm going to move this back a bit. Uh, it could be a job. It, it could be, you know, a relationship. It could be someone in your family. We're going to get more into this energy. But it's something that is, first of all, you may be scared of losing. Um, but in some way, it's sapping some of your energy. Like, it's taking... It's taking something from you, okay? Um, it's blocking you in some way. Okay, tell me more about this energy, okay? Tell me more about this energy. Can you do it on your own? Um, perhaps you're thinking about starting a business um, or expanding your business uh, or taking leaps of faith that may put you in a financial jeopardy in some way. Uh, if this is a relationship, perhaps you're afraid of the financial implications of this. And it may be that you're leaping towards someone and that requires some kind of financial leap as well. Okay, we're finding, going to find out more about the energy. So take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right, use your own discernment. Okay, tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about my group one. Tell me more about this overcome fear and cutting ties. Okay, I flipped that one out. I flipped those out. I felt right. I flipped several of these out. I can't take all those. We're not taking all those. Okay, so which one? Tell, give me one card out of here. Give me one card out of here. Give me one. Just one. What do you think? Which one? I'm being pulled to this one. Okay. Did you pick that one too? If you did, let me know down in the down in the um, the comments. I'd love to know. Okay, there's doubt here. Okay, there is symmetry. Okay, and there's wounded. All right. Okay, so I feel like, okay, there's a bigger picture here going on. For some of you, this overcome fear is really about self-doubt, okay? And it feels like this is rooted in a wound um, that happened a while back. For some of you guys, a long time ago, like when you were a child. For some of you guys, this is rooted in a relationship, a recent relationship. But whatever the case may be, it's a very deep wound. It cut deep, okay? Um, for some of you guys, you may have been let go from a job and it kind of rattled you. Or perhaps you thought you were you were very talented at something and perhaps you are, but you're doubting that now. Um, perhaps like things aren't going your way right now. Um, in this situation, like things aren't, things aren't progressing the way you think they should. Uh, and perhaps you've kind of put everything into it. Right. Um, and it's just not, it's just not going the way you want it to. And you're starting to wonder, is, is this for me? Is, is this my thing? Um, is this job for me? Is this person for me? Can I do this? Am I capable of this? Um, just a lot of different doubting thoughts coming forward for group one. Um, and these could be coming from you. They could be coming from a person like in your family, a partner, a friend. These could be inner programs running from trauma and things like that. It's going to be different for different people. So again, use your own discernment. Um, so tell me more about my group one. Tell me more about this. We have emotions are running high. Okay. So we have emotions running high. Tell me more. It's a super moon. Tell me more. This one, this one, this one, this one wants to come out. We have confidence is your key to success. 
Okay, and this one, this one, this one. We have nothing will come of this situation. All right. I want to know about that energy. Tell me about nothing will come of this situation. Void, of course, moon. Tell me, tell me, tell me. I think some of you guys fear that your doubt itself is blocking, like your mental space is blocking you. It's like fear of having fear of whatever. Fear of fear. Yes, I see you. <laughs> I see you. I see you guys. I fear that I have fear. I get it. Like, I get it. It's okay that you fear that you have fear. You know, we're human. Okay. It's time to release negativity. Conclusions are within reach. So a year from now, all of this fear, all of this like really intense emotion is going to be released. And it feels like because you're cutting ties, you're cutting ties with the trigger you're cutting ties with a person, a place, a thing, a behavior of your own, so, something that's keeping you in this doubt, something that's keeping you locked in the wound. And what's happening is symmetry is coming into your life. Balance is coming into your life, okay? As you cut these ties, all right, as you release this energy, it's like symmetry comes into your life and renewal, okay? Renewal of your energy because you have released the negativity and the conclusions are within your reach, overcoming the sphere. Um, and you're being guided a year from, from now that your confidence is the key to your success. Confidence is going to be your, your biggest bet here is to bet on yourself. Okay, and whatever it is that you're accomplished me, accomplishing, uh, I'm tongue-tied, y'all, because of my medicine. Um, whatever you're trying to accomplish, whatever you're trying to do, whether it's love, money, career, whatever this is, even spirituality, sometimes when we, you know, we start to have experiences, we're like, what? You know, our confidence about it's like, I didn't do that. Did that really happen? Be confident, right? Be confident, okay? Release your doubt. Release your fears. Release those things that encourage your fears. You may have people in your life who like you in a state of fear, who like you in a state of lack. They, they feed off of that. They feed off your worry. They feed off your concern, okay? Okay, tell me more about my group. One, tell me more. Okay. All right, we have the fool in reverse. Tell me more about the fool in reverse. There's just something here that you are, you're afraid to move. We have death. Okay. I feel like these cards want to come out. So let's take them. We have the tower. We have the four of cups and we have the empress. Okay. So a year from now, Okay, so here we are. I feel like this is kind of where we're at, okay, with whatever is going on with you right now. We're in this kind of doubting energy. We're in our wound. Probably could call this shadow work. And I, I feel like some of you guys aren't listening to your guides. You're, you're not listening to spirit. You're you're not really following your gut. You're listening to a lot of fear. You're listening to a lot of negativity. And understand this, that I, I get it. The world right now is a scary place. It's a scary place to be betting on yourself, right? Especially when you have people depending on you. So you have to be strategic in these moves, okay? Um, for some of you, I feel like you've, you've done some leaping, you've gotten down the path and it hasn't unfolded like you thought it would, would, um, and because it hasn't unfolded like you thought it would, I, I feel like you're kind of in this, um, like, you know, it is this for me. Uh, did, did I make the right move? You know, um. I'm not really sure about this. Like, I, I just feel this energy of like, uh, well, I, you know, I, I'm not real sure. 
I'm just, I'm not real sure. And I feel like a year from now, uh, something's coming. And it feels like, you know, the Four of Cups here. I, I feel like something's coming kind of out of the blue. Um, and probably while you're still kind of in this energy where you're just kind of not sure. Um, so over the next year, while you're kind of like working through the doubt, working through the situation, whatever, some of you guys may have a business partner that you need to get rid of or work something out with. Maybe you need to iron out some business things or personal things that affect business or something like this. Maybe there is a personal situation with your person and y'all are trying to figure some things out. Whatever this is, I feel like while this is going on, you know, I feel like there's going to be a major transformation here, you know, a major rebirth, okay? It's going to be very healing. However, we have the tower here. And the tower, you know, even a positive tower is, can feel very ungrounded. It can knock you, you know, it can knock you back. It can make you think, huh, I don't know. I'm a little scared, you know, because we have death here. You know, it's a transformative tower. It's a transformative moment, okay, that leads to the impress, okay? So it's healing, you know. It's, it's good, right? But I'm not going to kid you. It's still a transformative tower. So I, you know, I want to pull on this because I... I want to know a little bit more about this transformative tower that, you know, I feel like, you know, I want to say long term, it, it's going to be the thing you want here. However, you know, it's a transformative tower and transformative towers, you know, could be results of shadow work. You know, uh, they could be going a little deeper into shadow work. You know, and I hear people go, I hear you guys going like, ah, uh, uh, no, Auntie Amy, I don't want that a year from now. Well, um, you know, I, I feel like right now, a lot of you guys are deep in. Y'all are elbow deep, if you know what I'm saying, in shadow work right now. Okay. Um, some of you guys are just really in a shitty situation right now. Okay, we have the chariot. Yeah, there's going to be motion. Okay, there's going to be motion with this. It's not going to linger. Some of you guys that are in shadow work right now, you've kind of lingered here for a while. Because this doubt feels like it's kind of sticky energetically. Like it's sticky. It, it like you linger in it. Um, you want to examine it. You want to think about it. It kind of is the fuel that leads to kind of moments where you kind of rip yourself apart. And that kind of justifies you kind of staying where you are. And I feel like this tower is going to bring in movement. And whatever situation you're in, there's going to be movement. And that in itself can be very ungrounding. It's like you get a job offer right? You get, uh, you get funding for your business. Um, you get interest in your business. You, you, you know, you get the opportunity you want. Um, a way is made, you know, for you. Tell me more about this transformative tower that has motion here. It has motion. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this transformative tower. Give me, okay. We have, it came out crooked came out like, well, crooked, it came out like this. We have temperance. So timing, the timing, this is, to me, this is timing. They're telling me timing, timing is, is, I'm hearing a year to 18 months. Okay. And they're fixing to tell me something. All right. Tell me, tell me about this. We want to know. We want to know. We want to know. What is this year to, year to 18 months? Okay. The magician. Something manifesting. 
All right, what are these two? We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Six of Pentacles. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is the independent queen. She is well-to-do. She's a, a successful business woman, feminine energy. Um, she's a healer. Okay. Uh, she's very connected to nature, to her nature. Okay. We have the queen of swords. Okay. Uh, this is, this is an energy that really sees clearly and moves that way. Okay. Moves that way. Also, you could be dealing with a Libra, um, possibly an Aquarius or a Gemini. You could be dealing with a, a Taurus or possibly a Capricorn and a Virgo. And we have the Six of Pentacles. Um, and I, this feels like beautiful incoming energy of, of people giving to you, giving you opportunity okay, giving you resources. And I feel like you are manifesting this and there's emotion to this. There's balance. There's victory with this. Okay. These, I feel like these are your spirits, whatever spirits you work with, carrying you like across the threshold of this manifestation. Okay. And it feels big because I actually feel like now that I see these cards, I feel like you guys are clearing some kind of major fear. It can re be related to like your bloodline, uh, a generational curse. Maybe you were raised in, you know, a family of lack, maybe lack of love, lack of resources, lack of money. Perhaps there was lack of support for you as a child. And I feel like there's a lot of healing here with this card. You know, um, I feel like um, there is this energy coming through with the Empress. Where is our Empress at? Where is our Empress at? You can see the one child here isn't receiving. And I feel like the Empress is coming in and giving to all giving to all. Okay. And I also feel this energy with this card of you being selected, you being chosen, you being illuminated. Um, it, it's like the universe is saying, okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. You know, it's a good feeling. And, you know, you have the Empress here and you have two of the four Queens here. Okay. So what that tells me is like, I feel like right now you have manifested more of this Empress energy than what you think you have, okay? Um, and the reason why you're stuck in your head is because you've activated a lot of this Queen of Swords energy. And what you need to do is you need to get into your Queen of Pentacles energy. You need to ground, 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 ground. Uh, in my hemisphere, uh, right now, I live in, in uh, the United States. Uh, it's like summer. If you can go outside and get some sunshine and, you know, touch some grass, play with dogs, whatever, you know, your kids, ground, it's very grounding, ground, ground. If you can go swimming and things like that, this is the moment to ground your energy. It's going to help you with some of those overactive, doubting, fearful thoughts. It's going to help you see more clearly. Um, and it's going to help you move this overcoming this fear and bringing in this energy of the chariot, which is, you know, movement, victory, balance, lots of beautiful, beautiful things. Um, this energy of charity coming towards you, of giving coming towards you, of people selecting you coming towards you. Um, but it really is how your path unfolds for you, right? There's no rush here. There's no hurry. You should do it in your own time, okay? But understand that what you're going through now is going to evolve. You're not going to stay where you are forever. Some of you guys may feel like you're never going to get out of this. And I've been in shadow work that long where it's like I'm never going to get out of this. And 
One thing I will say is as you move out of this shadow work, do not be surprised if you cling to it. Do not be surprised if you want you find yourself wanting to stay there. So your spirits will begin to try to help you move forward. And that can be part of the tower is when you realize I'm clinging to my shadow work here. It's done. I've come as far as I can go right now. Oh, I'll go back. I'll go back eventually. But right now I've done as much as I can do. And now it's on to the manifestation of the shadow work. What comes next in my life now? What is the byproduct? What is the reward or the gift or the next evolution of my learning from this experience? Those kind of things. And that's what this is. This is the evolution of your life from the depths of the shadow work. And I got to tell you, as someone who, you know, has done a lot of shadow work, it, you have to kind of get into the mindset when you become aware that you're in transition, that you are in transition and have a transitional space for yourself and allow yourself to kind of like, if you need to, mourn the fact that you are leaving shadow work and move into the beautiful new energy clear of that. If you allow some mourning, if you need that, some grieving of that, it helps to move into the bright new energy. Okay, so if you need it, give it to yourself, all right? Okay, group one, that's what I received for you. I hope this was a helpful, insightful, and an enjoyable reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey group two, all of you that selected blessed day. This is going to be your reading all about a year from now. What's the vibe? What's up? What do you need to know? What does your spirit team want you to know? What's going to be going on? All right, so keep in mind this is a general reading. It's a general session, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? All right, use your own discernment. Okay, we have blessed day. Well, that's good. That is damn good energy <laughs> for a year from now. So some really beautiful energy unfolding for my group too. So tell me more about, well, that one doesn't want to go in. We have balanced emotions. Okay, so uh, there's some things coming into balance for you uh, a year from now. There will be some balanced emotions. Tell me more about this balanced emotions. Oh, wow. Did you see all those fly out? They just flew out. This one flipped over. Good fortune. Hey, that'll balance your emotion. Your emotions, huh? <laughs> A little good fortune will balance anyone's emotions. So, hey, sign me up. I'm all in. We have uh, four more cards, but I, I want to take them. So, uh, we have destiny. Ooh, Ooh, group two, we have equilibrium, okay, balance, again, balance, we have leadership, okay, uh, we have grounding, all right, and uh, we have Luna, okay, I feel like some of you guys may be doing magic using the moon cycles as well, or you may be... Um, affiliate, affiliated, affiliated, <laughs> you may, you may... Uh, uh, be one of your matrons or a, a goddess you work with me or a god maybe uh, use a moon or baby a moon goddess Woo! okay there is so much good on this table you guys reading over <laughs> <laughs> no, really, there's a lot of positive uh, energy on this table. You guys are coming into balance, okay? There's some kind of balance that's moving forward a year from now. Uh, I feel like you guys have had a really rough time. You don't get this kind of balance and this kind of good juju, um, good energy, if you will, uh, from just cuz. Okay, this is a side effect of really being through it and coming out the other side. So um, you guys are doing some major work probably right now. We have uh, Yimaye, yes, Mother of All, Divine Care. Ooh, 
Oh my gosh, she has the most beautiful energy when she shows up. She show she shows up in my readings. I'm getting tongue tied. Sorry, it's my green medicine, you guys. Um, she has the most beautiful energy. It's very blessed energy. Like it's a blessing to have her show up in any reading. Okay. Um, Wow. Are you Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio? This There's a, a lot of water here. Um, this is so good, you guys. Under divine care is what I'm hearing. You're under divine care with uh, Yimaye. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm... Yimaye, Yimaye, Yimaye. Yes. Like, she's wanting me to say it over and over. Yimaye, Yimaye, Yimaye. Okay. Uh, Yimaye. All right. Ooh, that feels so good. Um, you are under divine care. Okay. There's definitely a goddess or God form watching out for you. Um, I almost want to put her card here because the blessed day is coming from her. It's coming from this female, um, this female deity. Okay. It could be her or another female uh, or feminine deity. Okay, it doesn't. It's not gender. It's energy. So, um, and whatever that deity would be for you. Okay, um, we have quite a few cards that flip. No, yeah, that's quite a few. So let's let's shuffle. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this blessed day. Um, this is a blessing of good fortune, okay? And it is part of your destiny. Uh, you're coming into a very beautiful and blessed time. I'm hearing blessings of the moon. We have the moon here and the moon card here as well. Uh, I'm hearing like fort your fortitude. Your fortitude. I'm, I'm actually getting choked up. Your blessings are coming so in so strongly because of your own fortitude. Okay, I'm really pulling on this balance of emotions right now. Like you guys, um, I'm feeling like how strong you've had to be. People think, people often tell people, oh, you're so strong. They don't understand what that actually means sometimes. Strength comes from pain. Strength comes from sacrifice. Strength comes from absolutely the most horrible and miserable of circumstances and having to live through them. So, you know, it doesn't always feel really great to say, oh, you're so strong. You know what I mean? Like if you know, you know, okay. Tell me more about this great blessing, this blessed day, this good fortune. Some of you guys are going to be seen for the leaders that you are, you were born to be. This is your destiny. We have January's rebirth, rebirth. For some of you guys, there's something very special about January. Okay, very special, very special. You may be a Capricorn, uh, very special. Um, some of you guys may see this blessing begin to unfold around January. That is quite a few cards. Let's take these two, she says. Let's take those two. Uh, we have the sacred rebel, <clears throat> humility. See that card. Uh, we have the inner high priestess, divine service. You have divine care and divine service. Do you see the relation here? You are being taken care of because of your service because you've given so much because what you have been through has been a sacrifice you have sacrificed so much for your destiny and, and this destiny it, it seems to be one of a higher purpose one of a higher calling um one that probably people around you don't understand. Um, and I feel like you probably went through a time where you had to give up them caring about them understanding. Like you had to let go. You had to let go and let God, as they say, um, or let goddess in this case. Um, for some of you guys, you have the goddess Sophia watching out for you. She is a Gnostic goddess. Um, 
I, I feel I'm feeling like so many different presences here of different goddesses. Some of you actually have the goddess Fortuna. This is a gift from the goddess of fortune um, and fate. Some of you guys have the fates literally watching out for you. Um, I'm hearing a child of Aphrodite. Um, Hestia has been coming up a lot as well. We have the devil and the magician here. And I, I don't feel the devil here as a bad thing. I feel the devil here as a, a band of attraction that's wrapped around you. By the hands, I'm seeing delicate hands of a powerful goddess wrapping a, ba a band. I'm calling it a band. It's an energetic band of attraction that glistens and it is, um, it's interdimensional. So people will see this like in, they'll feel it in different dimensions. Like spirits will feel this. People will feel it here and it will, it will change your perspective on life. Okay. I will tell you with the devil card here, it's going to bring in a lot of attraction to you. And with that, you're going to have the attraction of, you know, some, some questionable peoples, questionable situations, which you are more than capable of dealing with because you've, you, you've done the work here. Okay, so I feel like, you know, you're manifesting something extremely powerful, okay, but you're going to need to be aware of the people being puppeted, okay, by negative energies, energies that do not have good intentions towards you, okay, because it's during this time where you began to really uh, come into this blessing that people will show up that don't have good intentions, okay? They'll try to block your blessing. They'll try to steal from you. Uh, they'll try to talk you out of it, those kind of things, okay? So be aware that, you know, a year from now, you could have people show up in your life who don't have good intentions towards you because you're starting to shine. Perhaps you've started to see some of this good fortune, okay? And they come in to claim a share, in whatever form that takes. So be aware of that, right? Be aware of that. Okay, how many cards just dropped? Quite a few, quite a few. So give me, give me three of these cards. Three, three. I want three of these cards. Give me three. That one. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords featuring... Yeah, this is an aggressive, this is an aggressive knight, okay? Uh, the knight comes, this, this knight comes to take your head. He's the, like executioner, like in this card, I think it's a good way to kind of think about his energy. Um, he's also uh, very um, goal-oriented, right? He's very driven. He's super driven, okay? Um, but again, I feel this warning here. Like, I feel like you're being, more than anything, group two, I feel like, yeah, you're being told these good things are happening, going to happen, going to open for you. Um, there's a real positive vibe around your life a year from now, but be warned, okay? There's going to be aggressive people come forward who do not have good intentions for you, okay? As you're manifesting the good things, also these other things will manifest, um, and it you will be able to deal with it, okay? Because you're going to be coming from a more balanced state, okay? A lot of you are going to be able just to discern the puppeted people from a mile away. For some of you guys, you already know who these puppets are, okay? You already know. You're already aware. Ooh, those two want to pop out, okay? We have the Nine of Wands, okay? And we have the High Priestess, okay? And what this is telling me is that you are going to rise above this. Like whatever this is that comes forward to kind of like get into your blessed day, your blessed energy, like you, you will rise above it. You will see the truth. The high priestess sees through the bullshit 
and she will emerge the winner victorious okay uh, because of everything you've been through you be, you will be able to see the truth in the people okay uh, and you've been warned like you're being told like just when things get good be aware that a negative Nellies show up uh, to kind of like try to get their piece of your blessings that you've earned. You're worthy of this. Like this is a blessing from your goddess for you. It's been created especially for you and for no one else. So they're not invited to the party unless you invite them. Okay. Give me a, uh, another card here. I want one more card. Maybe two. Let's give me one. We have the suite of pentacles, the three of pentacles, okay? And for many of you guys, like, the area of your work, tell me more. The suite of pentacles, the queen, boom, bitch, boom. The area of your work is really going to flower. Let's go ahead and see this, the suite of swords. And we have the, how many swords is that? One, two, the six of swords. Yeah. See, I feel like you're moving on. You're moving on to a very successful time. Okay. And this is in the area of work or money. There's going to be some kind of blessing here. You're going to be seen. People are going to see your work. They're going to see you moving past issues. Um, obstacles, any stagnation, and it could be in multiple areas, but I think I it feels like you're going to be seen. And the queen of pentacles is successful. Uh, she's independent. You know, um, she has more than enough. Like she's good. Uh, she has her own, like this fortune feels very real. It doesn't feel pie in the sky. It feels very real. It feels like something that's very grounded and very specific. Um, and it feels like something that is stable, not a fly by night kind of thing. I feel like this goddess is bringing in something that you can depend on. Uh, something that's not going to go away anytime soon. Um, let's get couple more cards here. Tell me about this. Tell me about this blessing. These cards, these cards. Okay. Tell me about a year from now. Okay. All right. Let me make sure they're all okay. Tell me about this energy a year from now. Tell me more about this energy a year from now. I feel like a lot of you have been working on this manifestation for at least a couple of years. Okay. If not longer. Like the, and this is hard work with the three of pentacles. This is something like you put in time and energy and money and resources. Okay. So it's definitely something that you've invested, you've invested yourself in. Okay. All right. Give me a few more cards on, on my group two. Tell me more about my group two. Tell me more about my group two. This one we have. Coming, coming back stronger and better. It's a comeback. It's a comeback. It's a glow up. Yeah, people. Passions turn into paychecks. Boom. Whatever this is, you're passionate about it. And it, this is a comeback. This is your comeback. Okay, a year from now. that This is a beautiful thing that's going to happen, you guys. And watch out for the negative Nellies, man. We have people being led by spirit. Do not make any sense to those who do not, y'all. Listen, don't let anyone tell you. Ah, uh, don't listen to spirit. You're not psychic. You're blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work that way. It works like this. Da, 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 da. You follow your own guidance. You follow the guidance of your goddess. You do what you're called to do. And fuck everybody else because i tell you what your goddess has something very special for you a year from now and yes there will be puppeted puppeted people okay who want what you have i feel like some of them may be jealous and they just want to fuck it up some of them want a piece of it okay some of them want a piece of you okay and i feel like you are so aligned 
that you're going to see them because you're the high priestess and you are the magician. You are going to be able to see them. And, and because of that, I feel like you're going to just move forward. You're going to rise above it and you're going to walk into such a blessed time of your life. All right. This is a beautiful reading. I hope you enjoyed this group too. That's what I received for you. If this resonated, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys. Hey, group three, all of you that selected rebirth. This is going to be your reading all about what's going on for you a year from now. Now, uh, I feel like this could be like the vibe of what's going on, exactly what's going on. We'll see whatever your spirits want you to know. Okay, definitely an energy of rebirth um, is coming through for you guys for uh, a year from now. So I'm really interested to get into this energy because the theme of rebirth has been all over my channel for probably the last good year, if not longer. Um, so some of you guys may be going through a rebirth right now. And, you know, rebirths can take a while. You know, you can have stages to a rebirth as well. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. It's a general session. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. All right. Okay. Let's get into it. Tell me about this rebirth. Tell me about this rebirth. Some of you guys may be aligned with Lilith because I'm, I'm feeling like dark mother energy and I immediately go to Lilith, but it could be Nyx. It could be another dark mother figure as well. Uh, one that's meaningful to you um, or a dark God energy like the witch father. I'm feeling this card. We have cast away negativity. Okay. Feeling this card in particular. We have good luck. Ooh. Do you feel that? You feel that good luck? Ooh, that it feels it feels cool like a refreshing drink. We have change. Okay. I feel like for you guys, you're probably having issues with like negative energy. Okay. Maybe you're clearing out negative energy in your life and you know, that can take a while. Um, maybe you've had a lot of bad luck. Maybe things have been shitty. <laughs> you know, I, I don't laugh because they've been shitty, but I just laugh because I understand, you know, things have been shitty. They've been shitty for a while, you know, so, um, and for you to have good luck would be a change, wouldn't it? It'd be a change in a positive direction. And that's why they call it rebirth, right? Because it's a change and it's not like a temporary change. It's a, a change that's here to stay. Okay, so tell me more about this good luck. Tell me more about this change. Um, I think it comes from you moving away from negativity. Like you choosing to say, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore with you or me or that or this. Whatever that is to you. Okay, we have passion. Oh, Good luck and passion. Should I pull one more card from this deck? I I honestly feel like that top card wants to come out. So what it is it? What is it? What is it? Eternal charisma. Ooh, that's a blessing. I feel like probably since you've been in this dense energy over here, you probably haven't been feeling yourself. You probably haven't been feeling much of yourself lately, right? You're tired. A lot of you guys probably have been hurting emotionally, physically. Maybe you guys are going through health issues. I feel like if you're going through health issues, you may not get cured because some of you guys have the chronic stuff, me included. But I feel like you will be feeling better, okay, uh, looking better. Uh, and it may be because you, you change some kind of um, behavior or you uh, change up your eating, or you change up some lifestyle thing, and that helps to improve your situation, okay? Um, and I feel like this brings in probably a new passion, 
or a renewed passion, a renewed connection to self, okay? And that's where your personality kind of takes over, where you begin to see people really see who you are now because you're not the same person. You don't go through all that pain that you just went through and come out the same person. I don't care what anyone tells you. Pain changes people. Deep levels, physical pain definitely changes you, okay? Emotional pain definitely changes you. And spiritual pain, it definitely changes you. Like you are not the same person. And so I feel like, you know, through connecting to possibly a new passion or a renewed passion, and it could be new love, it could be the love in your life, it could be a hobby, it could be a career move, it could be you reconnecting to yourself, it could be all of those things, okay? As you do this, it ignites a rebirth. It's a rebirth of you, of your life, and you shine in this moment. You shine. You rise and shine. Rise and shine, sunshine. Did your grandma ever say that to you? Rise and shine, sunshine. Mine did. And I got to tell you, it's one of my favorite things to hear, like as a human being. When we are all on the other side talking about our experiences here, I will say the sound of my grandmother's voice saying rise and shine is one of my favorite things. What is one of your favorite things you'd like to hear? Like, it can be anything. Be nice. <laughs> Be nice. Okay, tell me more about my group three's uh, rebirth here a year from now. Tell me. We have ascension, transformation, end of cycle, beginnings. Woo, I just got chills, y'all. Ooh, it feels good. Ooh, feel it, feel it, feel that energy. Woo, it feels good. It feels really good, you guys. Like that little wave of energy like totally went up my crown. You guys, this is nice. Like this is a nice little ascension package you have going on here. Like y'all should sign up. <laughs> y'all should sign up. We have conjure, conjurer, higher self, fertility, creativity. Ooh, the power here so much power. Your creativity is really going to flow. You're going to be very connected to your higher self, okay? Watch out for babies. Watch out for babies, projects. Watch out. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be sexy. <laughs> y'all are going to be hot tamales, y'all. Better watch out. Okay, we have shadow, wholeness, integration, repressed emotion. Some of you guys are going to be actively for the next year, you're going to be integrating your shadow. So all that hard shit you've been through, all the tough stuff, you know, all the negativity you've been through, you're going to be integrating the lessons, what you've learned. You're going to be transmuting that into wisdom and it is going to fire up this rebirth. It's very powerful. You're very powerful. Are you a witch? Are you a magician? Are you spooky? Are you psychic? I feel like you guys are already like spiritually aligned with something. That is a lot of cards, but the prosperity card is on top. So I'm going to take that one. I feel like you guys are uh, aligning with your prosperity. We have uh, wealth, contentment, abundance. That's part of your rebirth here. That's part of this. And there's a skull on this one and a skull on that one. Okay? So just to be clear, you know, there is abundance behind all this rebirth. So let's get into that energy. Let's, let's pull from this deck. Tell me more about this rebirth a year from now. Tell me more about this rebirth a year from now. Tell me more. Let me, let me shuffle it up one more time. Tell me more about this ascension. I feel like you guys are really going to, there's so much going to change for you. I'm hearing a year to 18 months. And I, I heard that for another group too. So it may be a little longer than a year, but around there, depending on where you are and when you see this. This is a timeless reading though. So, but um, we have the Page of Cups. Lovely. Isn't this a lovely card? 
Isn't this a preciously sweet card? I just love it. I love that card so much. She's holding a cup and the fish is leaping out. Okay. I I'm getting like the prosperity is going to be leaping towards you. Like opportunities leaping towards you. I it's like... <laughs> Like, I want to know you, the three of wands here. The three of wands. We have the lovers. Okay, for some of you guys, it's literally love. Love is going to be leaping towards you. And it may be a renewed love in your relationship. The six of pentacles and the ace of swords. Um, some of you guys, like this is a love part of this reading. So for some of you guys, like there's going to be clarity in your relationship. Okay, if you have any doubt on your relationship, on where it's going, you're going to know. Okay, um, and I feel like for the good and the bad of it, right? Uh, if you want a future with this person, you're going to know if there's going to be a future. Okay, um, I feel like if you're with somebody you're not meant to spend the rest of your life with, you'll know. And I tell you what, I feel like that person, like falling away is going to make room for someone who's going to leap towards you. Um, and it feels, it feels quick. Um, I feel like it's almost like the universe has been waiting for this other thing to fall away. And this is in love. Okay. So, uh, tell me more about this ace of swords. Tell me more about this ace of swords. I got two cards there. I got the chariot and the two of pentacles. Okay. So I feel like because <laughs> the chariot is often about balance too. So it's like everything is going to come together for you with this rebirth. Um, and I feel it. I'm now I'm feeling it in love and a lot of other relation, a lot of other situations and relationships. Um, I think being willing to see the truth and to not settle in your relationships. Okay, and that might might be part of this change is you deciding, you know what? I'm not going to settle for less than what I'm worth. And although like for some of you, you may have been with your person for a long time. You may be married to somebody and it's not fulfilling, you know, um, and you have to have hard conversations and perhaps those conversations don't go well, you know, um, for others, perhaps you meet the love of your life. And, um, I I'm getting like 22 here cause we have two here and two here, three, three, 33, like I'm getting those numbers. So pay attention to those numbers. Okay. Um, there's this energy of joy. Okay. There's some kind of breakthrough here. And there's an energy of joy. I feel like with the lovers, you're also a year from now going to feel like you really know yourself. And with the six of pentacles, you're going to understand when to give and when to receive. <laughs> and when to walk away. You know, when to hold them, when to fold them. And when to walk away. As the gambler, the gambler song is going through my mind. I haven't heard that song in many years. Uh, again, that makes me think of my grandma. It's so weird. My grandmother's energy is around. Um, anyway, um, I feel like for you guys, I feel like there will be good luck around relationships. Okay. And for some of you guys, like your rebirth will kind of catalyst a reality check in your relationships. And a lot of times when you go through a massive rebirth, the people around you have an issue with it. They have a problem. A lot of times they don't like who you are. They think you've become someone else, like you're wearing a mask, when this is really just who you are. You're stripping away masks that you've had to wear, and you're just becoming more authentic, and they don't like the authentic version of you. They like the fake one better. And that's painful. That reality is painful. I know for me personally, that hit me hard. Okay. People prefer me other ways. Um, I'm more digestible when I'm wearing a mask. I'm, I, I'm, I don't trigger people as much when I'm wearing a mask uh, for some people. And, and that's hard, you know, but that's true. It's real. And I feel like that's something you need to kind of like put in the back of your head. 
you're being real and their reactions are as real as they can be. And you have to respect people for being real about how they feel, you know, and respect it and act accordingly. Release the negativity and, you know, make the changes accordingly. And sometimes when we have super big rebirths, and I'm going to say this, and some of you guys may not resonate with this. A lot of you may not, but this is what's coming through spirit. Okay. Some of you guys may have like a walk-in experience. And I, I don't like that term. I don't really like that term because I think it has weird connotations. And walk-ins have been something that have been around for a long time. It's not a new thing. Um, and I, I believe these are just, these are just like, these are parts, the, the modern form of like a walk-in basically is when like, uh, you have some kind of traumatic thing happen and then a spirit walks in, part of you walks out, spirit walks in and, uh, takes over. Or all of you walks out and spirit takes over your body. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like when um, you have a walk-in, oops, you have a walk-in experience where like an aspect of your higher self or your oversoul, if you will, comes through your vessel. Okay. And you become like a merged embodiment of that expression. You are more authentically presenting of your most highest vibration. Okay. I would explain it that way. And this has been going on forever. This has been going on as long as we've been talking about religion and spirituality and there's different names for it. Okay. But, uh, people call it the walk-in. I, I, I've used that term, but I, the more that I understand it, the more I'm like, ah, that's not a really good term really for it because it's been going on forever. Some of you guys may have that experience. It may make you feel weird. You may find that you don't like the same food anymore. You may find that you like different things. And it may be that it's not that you like different food. You've just never allowed yourself to enjoy it. And I'll, I'll explain it like this. And this is, this is just from my perspective. Okay. Like, uh, I like, I'll use berries. I'll use strawberries. Like my, I had, my parents had this thing about, we don't buy strawberries because they're expensive and they're only for special occasions and that's rich people food. And so recently I've allowed myself to like buy strawberries, like organic ones when they have them, they're sold out all the time around here, but, um, strawberries when they have them, you know, uh, I buy them every week for myself. And uh, I enjoy every single one of them. And I would not say it's for a special occasion. It's special occasion. It's for me, you know. Um, and I've learned to enjoy them on a whole nother level, right? And I never really enjoyed like the strawberries we got because I felt guilty. I felt bad. So those kind of things. You'll find that you enjoy things more. You may enjoy new foods because you've never really been allowed to enjoy them before. You may wear the clothes that you've never dared to wear before, you know, and people don't like it. You know, you, you've allowed yourself to become more of yourself, okay? Uh, that can be part of rebirth. Um, it's very powerful. Uh, some of you guys have the Phoenix energy going on with this rebirth as well, and you know, I often say this and I will double down on it because I think it's absolutely true. I have people that get really triggered when I say this. So I, for, I, I am 53 years old and I will tell you that in order for you to truly love another person, you have to have some love for yourself. You have to truly know yourself and love yourself. Otherwise, they're loving a mask of you and they don't truly know you and because you don't truly know yourself. If you don't truly love yourself, how can another person truly love you? And people have built lives on this, you know, and people get really, some people get really mad. That's not true. You can truly love somebody even if you don't love yourself. How do you know what love is? How do you know what it really feels like? How do you know who you are? How does the other person know who you really are if you don't love who you are? Because if you don't love who you are, then how do you even know who, you know what I mean? Like, how do you know who you are? 
So there's a whole kind of like energy here with the lover's card of like really knowing who you are and being that person with your person and presenting that, okay? And being that way throughout your life and it bringing you incredible amounts of charisma and charm, not because you're perfect, not because you speak well or are well-spoken, not because you put on a good show or are a good performer, not, not because of those things, but because you are who you are. You are the real deal. And people know that you are as, as you portray yourself to be. There is no fakery here. You're not fake. You're not a fake-ass bitch. You're not a punk. You're the real thing. And you will find people are drawn to you because of that. Because you haven't compromised yourself or you no longer do. And authentic people will be drawn to that, okay? And uh, you will find that your luck improves. Because the universe is going to applaud, applaud you for living your truth and living in um, this authenticity of self after this really heavy energy. It's like a complete pivot. And some of you are going to feel the rejection. You know, you're going to feel people reject you, but you're going to continue to pivot and change your perspective. Some of you guys during this rebirth may find that you don't have a lot of people in your life. And it may be like that for a while. And that's for you to get to know who the fuck you are. That's for you to get into your energy and understand more of your abilities, your power, your talents, your gifts, and who the fuck you really are so that when you step forward in power, you know what you're working with, right? It's also for you and your person, if you're still with your person or you find someone new, it's for you to kind of, kind of exchange energies and build and grow. It's for you to enjoy don't take the absence of people in your life as a kind of imprisonment or punishment by the universe for you being truly in your authenticity. It's a time of peace. It's a time of healing. It's a time of growth because you're going to have incredible amounts of luck as you lean harder and more fully into who you are, who you truly are, your authenticity. Because I feel like there is a lot of positive flow here. There's a lot of, I want to give. I want to give to this person. I want to help this person. Look how real they are, you know. Look how on point they are. I admire that. I admire that in them. Give me a few more cards here. Give me a few more cards here. Okay, we're going to take some from the Cali vibe. The Cali vibe. Nope. Nope. Nope, they changed their mind. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get a few. Give me a few cards here. Tell me more about my group three about a year from now. Tell me more about my group three about a year from now. This one? This one. Okay, we have I am whole. Wholeness. Boom. Boom. Wholeness. I am whole. Wow. Can you imagine? Have you ever felt this? Wholeness? It's powerful, you guys. It's so powerful when you're able to have moments of feeling wholeness. And I feel like you guys are going to feel whole a lot. You're going to feel in your skin connected. It's beautiful. It's very healing. It's super healing. Tell me more for my group three. Tell me more about this time a year from now. Tell me more about this time a year from now. Balance. There's so much balance coming in for you. We have the weaver of the web cooperation. It feels like there's universal cooperation for you. And the web of your life is being woven, actively woven by you because you're powerful. We have the creatrix, creativity. 
Some of you guys may be herbalists. You may be, in, be into herbalism. If you are, this is, this is your validation of that. Um, there's something very creative here going on for you guys. Maybe you guys are artists or you're being called to create something like a business. Um, for some of you guys, you're being called to get more into your spell work. Um, this one card here wants to come out. We have Morga Morana. I wanted to say Morgana, but it's Morana. Goddess of death, death. There's that rebirth energy. I feel like your inspirations, pay attention to what you're inspired to do. Pay attention to what like you're inspired to create, okay? Because it will lead to a financial rebirth, okay? For some of you guys, it will lead to like a rebirth in your career. Um, but pay attention, okay? Because some of you guys, like th there's something massive here to be born out of this rebirth here. And it, it feels like money. It, it feels like success, okay? But you have to listen. You have to listen. Also, you might have been drawn to group two, all right? Okay, group three, that's what I received for you. I hope this was a helpful, insightful, and enjoyable reading. If it was, please let me know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you guys. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you as a member of my tribe. And if you'd like to see more readings like this one, give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you beautiful, oops, magical baddies on the other side. Bye, guys.